Hello Reds fan. Forrest wanted 25-year-old before signing Brazilian, Everton also showed interest. Nottingham Forest were one of the clubs looking into the possibility of signing Caio Enrique from Monaco, according to a sport. Brighton and Everton are keen on signing the player who was wanted at the city ground during the summer. In the end, the Reds actually landed three left-backs during a pretty busy transfer window. But first, if you're new to the channel, enjoy and subscribe so you don't miss the latest Forrester's news that we're always bringing you firsthand. Enjoy and leave your like on this video so that YouTube continues to deliver you the latest news from Nottingham Forest. Harry Toffolo and Omar Richards were signed early doors, but when the latter got injured, Renal Lodi came in from Atletico Madrid. Forrest then chose not to sign Enrique, and it remains to be seen whether he's still on the club's radar. Richards is showing no sign of a return to action, and with Toffolo now injured too, the Reds are somewhat short again. Lodi did return to the starting lineup at Arsenal on Sunday, and he's been okay when called upon. The 25-year-old has been a regular in the Monaco team during 2022-23. He's made 17 appearances for the club, scoring one goal and laying on a further five in the way of assists. Enrique typically operates as a left wingback, but he can also play as part of a flatback four. The Reds have been unable to get a settled player operating in that position due to injuries. In recent weeks, Nico Williams has even filled in on the left and it's once again becoming a problem for Forrest. Enrique signed for Monaco in 2020 from Atletico Madrid, and he has a contract with the League One outfit until 2027. The Reds needed a left back, and Enrique would clearly have been a useful signing. They instead plumped for Lodi, and he's taken a little bit of time to settle as a Forest player. Still, he's not been anywhere near as bad as some fans have seemingly made him out to be. The Reds will now face two seriously big home games before the break for the World Cup. If they could get two wins on the board, it would be a big statement and could even help them move out of the relegation zone. Enrique might be still on the radar, but signing him now could be a challenge. He's playing well for Monaco and is getting the regular football that he desperately craves. So, Forrest fan, what do you think of Enrique in the team? A good one? Or not? Put your opinion in the comments, because your opinion is very important to our team. Subscribe to the channel, soon I will bring you more first-hand news updated for you. Thanks.